you've ever seen those bag those packets of gummy bears the ones that are uh, haribo h-a-r-i-b-o i suppose they have like a little no. golden type of pouch not really all right one second gummy i think it's called haribo haribo is it still no sure not really give me a second well there are uh was it sugar free kind like it comes in a pack of five pounds Oh, and God, they right. have a bit of a reputation to them, if you haven't uh, known about it. Oh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fighting me. I'm going to show you a bunch. I'm going to read off a couple reviews. Tell me tell me what you think, if it's uh, willing to buy it, or if you're willing to buy it. So are you ready? Yeah, uh, I suppose I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So let me see. I need to this, find... This is the sugar-free kind, right? This Not the regular Only kind. the sugar-free kind. And it's about after you eat mm, eight. Is it eight, Michael? Eight is the magic number. Eight is the magic number. All right, we'll start. We'll start a little slow here. So this one is from Lori Oberempt. This okay. is January 26, 2014. So I quote: I laughed in the face of these reviews. Surely they could not be as bad as everyone has claimed. So, being a total gummy bear lover, I purchased a five pound bag of these innocent little chewy candies. They were delivered on Wednesday. I had a handful that evening. I kept waiting for the effects to kick in and nothing. I was impervious to the sugarless gummy bear effect. Flash forward to yesterday, which was Saturday for her, <laughs> when for some insane reason, probably because there wasn't any other food in the house, I ate a pound, maybe two pounds of these. Jesus wept. <laughs> Four hours later, <laughs> Satan set up camp in my bowels and still has not left. <laughs> what is going on inside my body is truly unholy. I honestly thought I was going to have to go to the ER this morning. These little bastards are evil. Save them and serve them to the only the truly deserving. <laughs> I posted a picture of just one gummy bear on my Facebook wall. The title of the post said, You, my little friend, can go straight to hell. I am certain that is where they originated from. Oh, okay. That's a good kick. Uh, what, what is it? Appetizer? <laughs> Let me find a different one. This one's called hey. The End Times by Joe G. Oh, God. All right. So here it goes. So, yes, it's true. Everything people have said when people say believe the reviews, I'm telling you to believe the people that say to believe the reviews. I wasn't surprised that the Hell Bears caused me to have massive diarrhea. <laughs> Everyone warned me. I wanted to see if I could just eat them slowly and build up a tolerance to them. My plan was to eat one bear now, then tomorrow do two bears, then the next day three bears, and so on, adding one bear each day in an attempt to build up my tolerance slowly, without having to spend the day in the bathroom. Day 10 came, which means it was the day to eat 10 bears. I chose my colors carefully. It was difficult to limit myself, so I was excited to be able to eat 10, because they taste great, and I've had no reaction thus far. What I didn't know is the bears are not stupid. <laughs> the first nine <laughs> days worth of bears got in there and realized they didn't have the bear power that was needed to launch an effective assault. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they waited, waited for a reinforcement. I feel now like they are very patient bears and would have waited until the bitter end for backup. Well, day 10 brought them a healthy batch of 10 new recruits, which means that since day one, I have now had 55 bears in my stomach, which I guess is sufficient for them to finally launch the attack. The attack started with a few pop shots to the gut. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I figured tomorrow I'll go back to five bears and slow down my approach to immunity. My new goal meant very little to the bears <laughs> that were already <laughs> committed to the mass, mass scale invasion that so many others have spoken about. 
What others fail to mention is that after 15 minutes on the toilet, your leg falls asleep, and about 5 minutes after that, cramping settles in. So now you are faced with unbearable leg cramps, but you know standing up is going to paint the wall brown. <laughs> <laughs> so I had no choice. I have to get up. <laughs> you can't between Ted's laughing and mine. It's so hard to read these. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll put where I started. Right here. Start from there. <laughs> Shoes off. Pants off. I lean forward while starting a barrel roll off the side of the toilet. I continue this roll right into the bathtub, where I spend the next six hours of my life crying, and occasionally turning on the cold water to wash away the blood, sweat, tears, and bear guts. Uh, my wife checked on me once. I told her to just leave me with at least one method of suicide available and abandon the house until I call her. To her credit, she stayed around. Finally, after regaining consciousness, I was able to stand up and plunge the drilling mud down the tube drain. The tub drain. I just went ahead and took a shower, being careful around the hole, quote unquote, as it felt like I spent the night in a prison shower. <laughs> Thanks to Revo, I have a better understanding of what the meaning of life is and how to approach success in the face of adversity. I would not say that I'm a better man, but I am prepared for life's little games. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I'm gonna go with little short ones right for a little bit. This one's called Please Tell Me by Chuck. When does the, sh the shitting stop? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry for anything bad I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> the next one. Okay, just find the name of this one, Ted. Alright, so this one's called Do Not Use for Birthday Parties Unless You Want to Redecorate oh the House. Fucking hell. Buying Haribo gummy bears sugar free was a shitty decision. And I do mean it literally. As in, a decision that ended up producing a quantity of excrements larger than the Black Sea. Well, at first, the taste is comparable to the original gummy bears, which is nice. I have to stick to this memory because the rest of the user experience pretty much depleted me of all willingness to continue living. <laughs> so I was preparing my five-year-old son's birthday party, which is why I had bought gummy bears, oh, or as God. I should call it now, the mother of all gummy bombs, M-O-A-G-B. <laughs> Open can opening candy bags, I picked randomly from one or the other, little knowing that one of these innocent pickings would send me on the ride of my life on Big Pooper Mountain. In a way, <laughs> I am happy that the stomachal Big Bang that erupted in my belly happened to me and not to my son or one of his friends, <laughs> who may oh, not God. have survived past the initial deflagration. <laughs> Indeed, a few minutes after I had swallowed the MOHEB, I heard the most ghastly roaring sound my stomach had ever produced. Accompanied by discomfort in my body, I had the strange impression that an alien was giving birth to a herd of other aliens in my stomach. <laughs> this all felt like gastric overpressure to me. I had let away some gas, it also smelled like gastric overpressure. Leaving a few bags half opened, I started heading upstairs, leaving my wife in the kitchen. Whatever I invented to justify my quick leaving must have been covered by the sound of my belly. The aliens had now evolved to the point of industrial revolution, and deep down I knew that what their factories were producing, and they were <laughs> producing it very fast. <laughs> the pressure kept mounting with me, or within me, and it was now looking to go out. It felt like a fireman had his hose stuck in my mouth and was communicating the pressure of a million atmosphere directly to my coin-sized anus. <laughs> All my muscles fought to retain whatever liquid or gas were possibly at this pressure critical state matter inside. In the process, I discovered muscles that I had no idea could be used to keep my sphincter sealed. For a lack of better name, I called them emergency shutters. <laughs> Almost there, halfway. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, lifting my feet off the ground to climb the stairs diminished the power of the emergency shutters and risking <laughs> unleashing a liquid crowd of alien things in the living room and probably all the way to the kitchen. So I had to use auxiliary forward motion power. <laughs> oh god, that is pull on the guardrail and lifting my body upstairs. <laughs> Oh, two more paragraphs. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fully concentrated on my sphincter, my legs carried me on autopilot to the village. <laughs> Keep going. Like, you, gotta, you must go on, Frodo. You must go oh on. <laughs> carried me on autopilot to the toilet seat, barely closing the door. And why, God, why make this small creature explore the toilet bowl at that moment? What evil things had this poor soul done to deserve the avalanche of alien waste that I laid on it at this very moment? <laughs> Forgive me, but I could not hold it any longer. 10,000 elephants were blowing in my bowels to expel whatever city of horrors had been created within me. Oh, for minutes untold, it felt like the entirety of my inner self was dissolving and decaying inside me, resulting in the unspeakable brown <laughs> lava that fused at hypersonic speed from my behind, almost lifting me up, and the stench, <laughs> <laughs> almost unbearable and unbreathable, despite record low levels of self-esteem. It must have kept the children out of the house maybe out of the garden too because i heard them playing outside in the rain crying <laughs> at that moment i was producing more than i had ever produced in my entire life <laughs> i remember thinking more than the coal mines of manchester at its worst it felt like the amazon river had taken its source in my innards i do not recommend this product except if you want to become a hypersonic ballistic missile <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh.